Uh, okay, uh, hello my friend, hopefully that you are doing great. So in this lecture, I want to share you um, another way, um, not another way, but one more way to interact with um, uh, something on the device. But actually, we are not going to interact with, you know, um, an element on the target application. Instead, we will try to boot the app, uh, the testing app in the background. So let me try to share you why do we need to do it first. So as you already uh, knew that um, all of the phone nowadays uh, multitasking. So that means, for example, you open an application. Let me try to open the email and patchwork. Let me try to open something, um, something like that. And then, for example, you click on the login button, right? So after you click on the login button, but uh, for example, you say that, oh, I need to go back uh, to the, you put the home button here, you see? And then you want to open another app or you want to do something like that on the mobile. And then what you are expecting that when you come back to the app, what you want to see that you still want to see the current status of the current, uh, something like the current progress or something like that still on the target application because you don't want to say something like all of the things just missing or uh, uh, you just start the application from the scratch. So for uh, some application, you want to test something like that to make sure that uh, after you boot the user press on the home button, you still want to see the state on the application correctly something to that. So that means we need to put the testing app uh, into the background and then we come back to see uh, whether we can still have on the target, uh, the, the, the current state or not. Okay. So now let's try to create a new Java class on the ABI learning package. And this class, I will call it something like boot app in background boot app in background. So there's some typo, but I think it doesn't matter. So now uh, let me try to write some lines first to see what we are gonna do, okay? So we create or init, init a session with Abium server then we try to go to login form and in both username uh, and password. Okay. After that, we will boot the app in background uh, for five seconds. Okay. Uh, something like that first. Okay, so to init a session with IBM Server, we will create an Android driver uh, with the Time Mobile element here. So Android driver, or you can name it IBM driver, it should be okay, but you uh, remember we changed uh, from the IBM uh, driver to the Android driver, right? So Android driver equal IBM uh, driver extended this one does get android driver after that i will try to copy the thing from uh sas you here something like this uh copy all of this step or okay yeah let's try to copy it first and then I will replace the IBM drivers before to Android driver. So copy and paste here. Yeah, everything is now okay, right? Uh, click on the login input, email input password. Uh, send the key password here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay, we have enough. And click on the login button now. If we want to boot the app in background for five seconds, what we want to do that we will call something like Android driver here. And then we call run app in background. And you see the parameter here is duration. Okay. So we call something like duration. 
uh, duration here of second. So if you move the cursor to the duration here, it comes from Java dot time bucket. Okay, the time bucket from Java. And now put five here. So that means we will put the app uh, in background for five seconds. Okay, let me try to put just three seconds. Okay. And then after three seconds, the app will be relaunched uh, automatically. Okay. Now try to start the Appium server first. Appium server by default on the board 47, 23, you see here. And now try to run this one first. So if everything is okay, we will see if you click on the login form, input username backward, then click on the login button. After that, if you put the app in background, so that's mean, let me try to explain a little here. So that's mean if you simulate um, the way you should click or uh, touch, um, maybe a uh, press or uh, home button, okay? Uh, on phone. So this is what we're gonna uh, simulate, okay? And then after that, if you relaunch that, okay, now try to click on the main method here and run it. Okay, it have just sent the desired capabilities to the Appium server and now open the Python application to see. This is the, still the previous mobile screen. So now it's gonna start a new uh, session, trying to open the new uh, new session for the application. Login, input this name, password, click on login. After that, you see, it put the app in one, two, Three, I think now it launched again, and then you see as it called zero, and you see the status here 200 here. That means everything was smooth. Okay, so now I want to say one more thing. So, in this case, you put the app into the background with a stain or uh, an amount. So, for the case, um, you know, you still have something here you want to do. Uh, some more step on uh, another application. I uh, I will share you in details in the next lesson, but I want to share a little here first. Okay, so for example, after you put the application into the background, uh, for example, you put the app in the background here, right? And then what you want to do that you open something like you know the sit thing here. And then you try to uh, do something here. So that means you will not, uh, you will not know how many times, how long for the action, uh, for the next step, will be completed. So that means it doesn't make anything if you put something like you know a certain of, of amount here. So because when you do something in it though, and then this app is just relaunched, and then the rest of step will be failed. So in that case, instead of put the uh, stain here, um, a velocity value here, you just put minus one. So that's mean I want to put this application in the background till I wake it up again. Okay. So I just want to share here. So, and then in, in the next lesson, you will have clues. Why do we need to do that? Okay. So let's try to explore route first for this lesson to see how it works first. Okay. And then in the next lesson, I will share you another interest uh, thing that we can actually, you know, uh, open two or more application and then we interact with them. So interesting. Okay. So bye for now and see you in the next lesson.